Hello and welcome to Theatre Beard, a brand new YouTube channel specifically for students of drama, particularly those doing GCSE drama, BTEC Performing Arts, whether that's BTEC Drama, Dance, Musical Theatre or any combination of those, there will be something for you on this channel. My name's Richard, this is my beard and I know a lot about theatre because I've been working in theatres for my entire working life. Oh God, I'm so old. I was a member of a youth theatre for very many years. I went on to do a degree in theatre and performance studies and then I did my master's in drama and performance studies. And in a later video, we're going to be looking at the differences between all three of those things, drama, theatre, performance. For the past 15 years, I've worked as a freelance theatre director. Well, I say 15, this last year has been interesting. I've directed a whole host of different types of performances, everything from solo shows right through to large scale musicals with casts of around about 40 people through to dance theatre performances and physical theatre. I worked as a youth theatre leader for seven years and we took performances up to the Edinburgh Festival. I've also directed shows in non-performance spaces such as cathedrals and churches and stately homes as well as your conventional large scale theatres plus black box studio spaces. Don't panic if you don't know what some of these terms mean. That's the whole purpose of this channel. We're going to be looking at vocab and terminology as we go. So you're going to be learning exactly what these things mean. I also work as a producer. So I produce shows, which means I liaise with venues and artists and technicians and sound designers and set designers and choreographers and musical directors, all of these different things. And I've also got experience of performing myself and I also write performances too. And finally, <sighs> For the past 14 years, I have also worked as a drama tutor at the UK's only residential arts centre, which means that I've worked with around about 25 students a week, helping them to create, devise and perform their very own performances. Oh, stop talking about yourself. What are you going to put on your channel? So the purpose of this channel is for me to give you some of the knowledge that I've gained over these many years in a variety of different roles. Oh, I've even worked as a box office supervisor at theatre as well. I forgot to mention that. Wednesday is going to be Wordy Wednesdays, where we look at different terminology surrounding the theatre, because when I first started out, people would say things to me and I didn't really have a clue what they were talking about. And that's because nobody ever told me. So you might be thinking, what on earth does to strike something mean? What is a sits probe? What does to spike something mean? What's a birdie? When it comes to performances, we're going to look at things like what in the round is, what's a proscenium arch, what's a thrust stage, what's traverse staging. Plus, in other videos, we're going to be looking at different theatre practitioners. And I know that as part of your course, you have to look at specific practitioners. So there should be something here that you can find. And if there's a particular practitioner that you would like me to look at, then stick it in the comments below. P.S. If you're a teacher who's watching this video, if there's something you want me to look at for your students, stick that in the comments too. We're also going to be looking at different genres of theatre and how they differ from each other and what the characteristics of those types of performances are and what you would need to do to be able to make those types of performance. In the longer term, the plan for this channel is to be able to interview different people who work in the industry. So, for example, I know some vocal coaches, I know some actors, I know some dancers, I know some singers, I know theatre designers, I know stage managers, I know theatre managers, I know a lot of people, I know puppeteers but I'm only going to be able to approach those people if there's enough people watching. So please go ahead and subscribe to this channel now so that I can say, oh, there's a hundred people who might be interested in what you've got to say, rather than, do you want to come on my YouTube channel for four people? Also with my experience as a theatre director, I'll be able to give you hints and tips about things like how to learn lines, what to think about when you're directing a scene, to think about your character's intention, all of those different things and different ways for you to approach a text in performance. But what I will say is this, this channel is here to support the work that you do in your classrooms. It is not there to replace it because your biggest resource are your teachers in school. So for all of this and more, subscribe to Theatre Beards, tell your friends, share this video and saying nice things is always free. So feel free to pop something in the comments and I will see you for our first Wordy Wednesday in the next video.